Del Barton took on St. Joe's of Metuchen on Saturday morning. St. Joe's set the tone early, scoring the first two goals, both by Ed Lubowicki. Peter McMullen scored for Del Barton to make it two to one. Ryan Lachlan would make it three to one, but Ben Reynolds would tighten things back up, making it three to two. Jeffrey Cancro of St. Joe's would come from behind the net to put one away, and making it four to two. Lubowicki struck for the third time on a transition goal and made it 5-2 St. Joe's. Del Barton was clearly frustrated as Spencer Houston took a slashing penalty at the end of the first half. If you expected Del Barton to come out differently in the third quarter, you would be disappointed. St. Joe's Lachlan scored first, making it 6-2. Jack Malloy made it 6-3, but St. Joe's Lachlan would get his third, making it 7-3. And that's how the third quarter ended. St. Joe's 7, Del Barton 3. Del Barton scored five straight goals twice against Bergen Catholic last Thursday, but this was not Bergen Catholic. The question was, could they do it again? The answer, yes. Right off a face-off win, Patrick Foley inched them closer. A spectacular interception and goal by Clay Harmon made it 7-5. Then Peter McMullen scored two in a row to tie it up. The first on a substitution that fooled St. Joe's. And the second on a spectacular acrobatic shot that deserves a slow motion replay. With time running out and possession, Del Barton held out for the final shot, and Cole Riccardi got the chance and made the most of it. And that's how it ended. Del Barton 8, St. Joe's 7. You know, if you lose, you go home, and, uh, you know, we didn't want to go home.